So let's say you have set up your payment stack and let's say you've even integrated with a payment orchestrator like Hyperswitch. Uh, what exactly happens when your customer clicks on pay now to check out of your application? Uh, let's get started. So to understand how a transaction flows, we need to look at the five major components that are involved. So let's start with uh, your server. Let's call that the merchant server. And then we have your client side application. Let's call that the merchant client. And then you have the Hyperswitch SDK, which you would have integrated with your client application. And then you have uh, the Hyperswitch server. And finally, you have your payment provider server. So let's call that the processor server. Right, so when your transaction starts, the first thing that happens is the payment create request that your merchant server places to the Hyperswitch server. So this is a server to server call and that looks something like this. So you have a payment create request and in response, you get a client secret. The client secret is a unique identifier uh, to the particular transaction uh, that is being processed over here. And once the merchant server, once your server receives the client secret, your server sends that client secret along with a publishable key to your client. Right, so this is what that looks like. You have a client secret along with a publishable key. The publishable key is a unique identifier that helps Hyperswitch identify uh, your account with us. So that's the publishable key. So once the merchant client has received the publishable key uh, and the client secret, uh, your application would now initiate the Hyperswitch SDK. So in order to initiate the SDK, Hyperswitch needs to know the exact payment methods that you have configured um, for your application. So there is now a payment method list request that is sent to the Hyperswitch server. Uh, what this API does is uh, it uh, gives back the payment methods that are applicable for this transaction. So once this is done, this is when uh, the SDK is initiated and this is when uh, you know you start accepting payment method details from your customer. So that looks something like this. So you have uh, at this point your customer enters their payment method details, be it their card information or their bank information. Uh, once they enter that, using the client secret and publishable key that you've received, uh, the Hyperswitch SDK now uh, does a payment confirm or it makes a confirm call to the Hyperswitch server. So once the SDK makes the confirm call, uh, the Hyperswitch server, based on your routing rules, decides which payment processor the transaction needs to be routed to and it makes it places a confirm call accordingly. So this is what that looks like. So you now have a confirm call with the payment processor and at this point the payment processor it uh, settles the transaction with the bank and it gets a response right so you get a status in response which is then which is further relayed which is further relayed to the sdk and based on the status the uh, your client application now decides which redirect url or which return url uh, the customer needs to see uh, so you can now redirect your customer to the appropriate return URL and your transaction is complete. So that's a bird's eye view of how a single transaction goes through Hyperswitch. Um, so let's quickly summarize what just happened here. So you have your merchant server, your merchant server has made a payment create request to the Hyperswitch server and in response to that API call you get a client secret. Along with the client secret which uniquely identifies the transaction, uh, you also have a publishable key, which uniquely identifies your account with Hyperswitch. Uh, both of these details are sent to the client-side application. The client-side application now initiates the Hyperswitch SDK, 
uh, which needs to know which payment methods exactly uh, are to be displayed for that particular transaction. Uh, so based on the response from the payment method list API that the Hyperswitch server returns, uh, the Hyperswitch SDK, uh, you know, opens the SDK, which is like an embedded checkout experience uh, with the correct payment method details. The customer enters all the payment method details and they press pay now, uh, post which they confirm the request. And the confirm request is uh, routed to the appropriate payment processor who in turn returns the status after settling the transaction. And uh, based on the status, you will now be able to redirect or uh, you will be able to redirect your merchant to the appropriate uh, return URL. Uh, so here's a quick summary. If you'd like to uh, jump into more details as to how this works, uh, do visit our documentation and yeah, thank you.